And of course, you can read lots of our things and really find out that you actually had a short for today from all these things and all the things that work with the, the study of music. My question for you is, as you talked about being with Moses for this presentation, mm -hmm. uh, over time you get to gain new, uh, you know, progress into the future, new inventions, new ways, new styles. My question is, you've worked with Moses, you've worked with Disney, you've, you've been a historian. I'm wondering if you think that the artists in Disney nowadays still take influence from people like Ward Kimball and people like Marcus. Is that showing you guys moving forward to see future from animation styles? Is that still there? Mm -hmm. Yes, is the quick answer. Um, <laughs> I think the question just in general, like someone's blood my days for so long, but no. are, are those techniques still appearing? Well, I, don't, I can't say exactly if you still see an appearance, although I know at the Disney they revere their history. That's something I say to my students um, in the very first class, is that um, kind of to justify why are we taking a course in the history of animation. But I, the thing is, I say to them, Name any director you know and admire. Let's take the commercial directors. Let's take let's take animation directors, Brad Bird and Tim Burton. Let's take, of course, Mark Scorsese, Spielberg, you know, and Lucas, and anybody you can name. I'll tell you, Quentin Tarantino is a perfect example. Anyone you can name who's making films that you like, they know the history of film. And, they, and, and as an animation person, and this is semi true with the live action guys as well, they know the history of animation. And they are extremely influenced by what's come before. And that's the thing I find interesting as a, as a teacher the last few years. Uh, I'm not a professional teacher, as you can tell. You know, but I, I, but I, uh, um, the stu uh, it's really interesting to me that students don't know who Mark Davis is, and they don't know who Mark Kim was, or Chuck Jones, or Tex Avery, or Windsor McKay. And, and so I'm so blessed. I love introducing those things to 18, 19, 20-year-olds and seeing their minds blown, not only in person, but I make them make new papers every week that tell me about what you saw. And they really, they've never seen it, or they might have seen it when they were five, and now they're art students, and and they're just um, so that, you know they're, they're like, oh my God, I hated this film for my all my life, and I'm watching it now, and I I can see it completely what they're doing. Um, yes, uh, I worked with um, John Chris Lucy on um, with Ren and Snippy, and I worked with the classic group on Rugrats, and and all and all the artists there were inspired by they would have tons of old comic books and all the videos and make frame grabs and it, you know I, I can look at all the cartoons that were made like, like at this point 20 years ago and I can point to look at the 